Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's jump right in. On this side is your oracle reading. We're going to start with your oracle reading, full oracle spread. Um, below is an extended reading if you also want an extension for a full tarot card spread that illuminates and extends this reading and then also a romance reading. So let's get into it. Aquarius, this is for Aquarius sun, moon, rising sign for the next couple of days, seven days out. Um, anywhere actually Aquarius energy influences your natal chart, you can plug these energies in, apply these energies. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. That never works out well. Aquarius, this season of yours has been doing a number on many, 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 many people. And really, it's just the illumination and the opening and expansion of awakening that is really doing the number itself. Because that, it's hard. It, it's a... It feels like a lot of change really quickly when you realize, you know, the, the, like the shadows had names and, and <laughs> the, the monsters had feelings. And it's like, it's, it's a, a really interesting, it's a really interesting feeling when you start to see things in different ways. And it's like big old major changes don't even have to happen to your world in Aquarius season. It's just the mind expansion and broadening makes you see them differently. And it's an interesting experience to see people's reactions to it and a lot of people are reacting in different ways. I have to say, mostly positive ways. Positive as in accepting, talking about things, trying to understand things at a deeper level. So let's see how this week is affecting you Aquarius lots wants to come out a lot want to, wants to come out for you hold on <laughs> the glow from my computer because I accidentally tapped my mouse okay let's see what your crowning energy is okay Be fearless and bold. You see, you're stepping out. And it, <laughs> this is like stepping out and feeling good about who you are. And being able to clearly share who you are with everybody. But deciding to do it. Deciding to take the lead. Step out in front. And really revel in your energy. Um, it came out with two other cards be peace this is a libra energy so it's a sister energy it's very complementary to yours but this is about finding balance and then tend to the small things this is usually a card that represents that that talks about um things building up over long periods of time like them gathering in the walls and having ignored them and not not them not having been addressed for a while so essentially all these cards coming out together is saying the crowning energy for this week for you is you're facing down things that you've sort of let build up you're facing down things that maybe you have decided to ignore chosen to ignore or like i said during the channeled message you're seeing things that have been there all along, but just haven't been illuminated, and now they are. So let's get into your reading. Um, surrender now. Something to give over to. Something that maybe you haven't wanted to see. But this is also my Moth to a Flame card. So flying directly into it and taking it head on. Um, 3 plus 9 is the energy of 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is the divine time. This is the time to do it. It's the, t it's the time to just dive right in, like kamikaze style. I got that reading for Libra 
Libra, interesting enough, you have Libra and Aries energy, and then you have going up in flames. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, love is all around. So there could be something that you're trying to, that you're, that you just can't resist anymore. <laughs> Some sort of, um, it's, it's like irresistible energy. And this is a romantic card, though I, I'd like to hold off the completely romantic implications. There's just something so tempting around you, an opportunity so good, you, you can't control yourself. You just want to dive into it. This is four plus one, five, an energy of change. This is Gemini energy. Lots of air energy around, almost fueling this fire of being able to communicate, say what you need to say. This is a phenomenal week. Aries is coming up in a lot of people's readings. A phenomenal re week of love and to communicate something that has been building up in you for quite some time. Something maybe that you have not wanted to face, not wanted to address, have intentionally looked the other way toward. Because um, it's not like you didn't know about this, but it's like you're ready or the opportunities are just starting to pop through. Now it makes sense we're popping into Leo energy, illuminating, letting go of anything that is prideful or hurtful or that our egos have been holding on to. That's February 9th, the full moon in Leo. And then we also have Valentine's Day coming up too. So over the next seven days, 10 days, there's going to be this urge in you to just dive into something that's been growing underneath the surface, but you've been trying to ignore. And I'm feeling like, or somebody's gonna be doing this to you, like literally kamikaze style, they're just gonna like dive bomb it and rush right in. It's, it's There's an attraction here that you can't resist. Now, to keep it general, because this is, a, this is an energy reading, it could very well be just something that is tempting beyond belief, you know, a project or a prospect or an opportunity that you have constantly like kind of like been just over the shoulder, cold shoulder to, to sort of keep it in its place and not let it get out of control. And you want to handle it or you noticed it. Let's put it that way. You've noticed it. It's not like it's, it's something that's just crept up on you, or it could be a new opportunity that all of a sudden is so tempting, even without without thinking about it much you just want to dive right in but aquarius this is that energy of feeling so good and so capable and so ready to just so ready to uh, you are diving right in you're flying right into it you trust it in some capacity this is an energy that you trust and you're not taking a long time to think about it you're it's almost like either you've already taken time to think about it and the implication is that this has been growing for quite some time. This is maybe a love, a possible love or a poten potential love, an opportunity that you love, doing something that you love, doing someone that you love that has been growing for quite some time. And now you're just ready to dive bomb it and dive right into it and maybe announce it. And, and like throw caution to the wind and not hide it anymore. Bring it out into the open. This energy prior to the retrograde, I think, is like pushing people. You can feel that the retrograde is coming. So you want to just dive into things before we're all forced to slow things down. And I got to say, retrograding with a new boo would be really, really fun stuff to do. Because that's the time when it's perfect to slow things down and to not worry about things so much or to let things sort of just wash over you and waves and and chill for a while that's the time to do it so if you can dive in to something that you really adore and get those fires burning this is Sagittarius energy you could be dealing with Sagittarius you could be dealing with a Gemini but this is definitely just fueling those flames and wanting those flames to continue to be like on fire and liking that feeling, telling somebody, communicating that you love them before that you love them, that you want to be with them or communication coming into you that expresses those sentiments before we're forced to sort of slow down. It's like you're almost, there's almost maybe a little bit of underlying worry that if I don't get this done now, I might miss an opportunity. 
Trust in divine detours. This is Sagittarius energy too. Trust, because this isn't you. This isn't normal. You're you're a little bit cooler and calm and more collected than this. This is this is different. A different way that you're wanting to act. One plus six is seven. This is the energy of creation, of wanting to take the chance on something new, of getting something new started. And the, you, in other words, you will not be acting in a way that you would normally act. Co-create with spirit. This is divine timing right here. This is a card that says, and look at one plus seven is eight. This is the card of fate and destiny. Destiny's been coming up in a lot of the readings. I'll attach the pick a card above really making itself present to say, this is divine timing. The timing is right. So if you're getting these impulses, Aquarius, it's because spirit is intervening and feeding the messages that says, this is now, this is the right time. This is when you have to focus on it now, 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 now leap, just leap. It's like you're listening to spirit. You're attuned to it. And once again, this, there's an illumination of the voice, of speaking, of sharing, of communicating. Uh, believe in yourself. Plant those seeds. Dude, check out the uh, Capricorn reading. You might want to check that one out because this was a beautiful time for Capricorn to plant the seeds for their future. To plant seeds, do all the work, bum rush a lot of work so that right now, before we get to that resting period because they need to be planted so that they can start to take root during the retrograde and then not have to worry about it so much. So this is a great time to believe in yourself, plant those seeds, get things started now. And what, what I'm saying is whatever you're choosing to dive into now is ultimately going to be seeds you plant for the future. So this is going to be long-term rewards, long-term projects, it's, it's not just going to be a fleeting thing. You're being pushed to take this leap so that your wings can grow, maybe on the way down. But there's definitely this feeling of this is going to last a while. You're planting seeds for the future now. This is Virgo energy. Lots of mutable energy. You're showing up in your own reading. Wisdom, seeing in the dark, seeing things clearly. So you know this isn't as risky as it seems. That this leap, this dive bomb, like a moth to a flame, is it's almost like you can tell that it's not as crazy as it seems. It's not as it's not crazy. There's wisdom here. You've studied it, you've looked at it, you've you've given yourself time to get comfortable with it, and you see an opportunity here. This is sort of my card of seeing in the dark. You see an opportunity here that sort of transcends the darkness. It's like these thoughts are based on more than impulsivity. It's also divine timing, your season. Four plus three is seven. Time for you to create and reap those rewards of the seeds that you planted. So this is the time to jump in, Aquarius. And I, by the arrival of this card, I can feel that you are ready to jump in. And then almost like, I got to say, like an owl in the night, dive bombing something, you've already got it in your sights. So you can't wait to spring from the tree to grab it. Mm. You was hungry. You got those hungry eyes. That's hungry eyes right there. Okay. Mm. Transcendent. Uh, transcend, transcendent. Uh, uh, transcendence. Thank you. Aquarius, this is you and your butterfly wings about to sprout. It's also finding your tribe, finding your soul purpose, and it's the card of awakening. So you have awoken to this new potential and possibility. I have to say, every single thing is pointing to take this leap because you're ready. You're ready to fly. You're ready to spread your wings. You're ready to go. You're not who you used to be. That's the beautiful essence of this card. The person that you were... You've developed, you've grown, you're ready now. Maybe you weren't ready. You didn't take the leap because you weren't ready. You're ready to take the leap now. Understanding yourself better, understanding your trajectory, knowing the path that you're on, and actually being somebody completely new, ready to start an entirely different life. God, freedom is yours. This is also Aquarian energy. 
I mean, I like, it's almost like you're, you're free of the chrysalis, Aquarius. That's what you are this week. You're done. You're, you're bursting free. You got the wind in your hair. You feel wonderful about everything that's going on. You don't want to continue the same patterns. You have to. This is the time. This is the time for you to break away and get free. 33, three plus three is six. Six always relates for me the number of the tarot cards, which is the major arcana, which is the lovers. Maybe free from any kind of stress that you've been feeling when it comes to love. Maybe free from love, liberating yourself and starting a new love or liberating yourself from being afraid of whatever it is you were holding back. This is your grounding energy. You know, the, the hooves of the horse are firmly planted and yet it runs like the wind. So it's got this wonderful essence of air energy, but also it's very well grounded. So how many ways can I say it? Like, yes, this is the time. Take the leap. Run, bum rush it. Run right into this because you feel good about this. There is a wonderful sense, Aquarius, of feeling extremely good about taking this risk. So if you're curious about the risk, if you're curious about the jump, um, you can join me for the extended. That link is below. And uh, I will see you in the extended.